What is inclusive practice? Inclusive practice takes account of the social, cultural, physical and linguistic diversity of all children, including learning styles, abilities, disabilities, gender, family circumstances and geographic location. It means acceptance and respect of all humans and it means weaving a blanket of threads that incorporate physical, mental, emotional, verbal, cultural and religious aspects and embracing those threads and bring them together with their uniqueness and to work with them. Inclusion for me is about how I can provide an environment and a program that caters to every child in my care, regardless of their background. I work out what their needs are, their strengths are, and try and provide something where they're guaranteed to have success. Well, I think inclusive practices are really underpinned by respect, and I think we can sometimes get a little overwhelmed by the word, but I think if we simplify it and think about respect for relationships, that can be the focus of everyday practices, everyday relationships, policy development, everything. When making decisions about how to provide additional support for children, teachers are guided by the principles of inclusiveness, that is, high expectations and equity in educational opportunities for all children. Decision making involves much more than planning some materials and spaces for the learning environment. In a quality program, teachers need to interact intentionally and actively to maximise every child's participation and learning. Teachers are responsive to children's ideas and interests and they use the teachable moments to extend and challenge children's thinking and to promote aspects of children's learning and development that they need to be successful. How is the first point of contact with your service inclusive? Who do you think has responsibility for inclusive practice and why? What happens in your service to ensure all children are provided with learning opportunities and resources that support their needs? How might you recognise and celebrate difference?